The bus will start running at 6 a.m. to go to Hattin State. It's now 5 a.m. but the school there is already very busy. We already have breakfast and according to the schedule, we will go to Chowdow State for lunch. This is the route to Chowdow. Vietnamese nature is simple but beautiful. After 4 hours on the bus, we arrive at Chow Dap City. Lung here is super delicious in being with control of the people here. Ending the day one journey is to visit by to see Pagoda, one of the most famous Pagodas in Chow Dap City. By Chow Dap Pagoda on the same mountain are by to see Pagoda. The famous place because of its sacredness and fancy position in the Free Tree River and mysterious Pau Mountain with many religions that have its common decades. This western temple is a famous spiritual tourist destination. Also a familiar pilgrim display that many people visit to add for fortune and peace. Because filming and taking photos are not allowed inside the temple, I can only stay outside and it's been quite sunny so I sat here and read the beach. And here are a few corners of the souvenir shop at Pachusu Baguda. Colorful but equally solemn and quiet. After finish the tour, everyone quickly returned to the bus and prepared to visit Jasu Kazapa Forest. Jasu Melaluka Forest Eco tourism area in Anyang belong to two districts, which are Bang Yao Canyon of Tech Bing District and Olong Wei Canyon Chow Phu District. Chia Su Melaluka Forest is like a green fur shining in the midst of vast field of the Bat Long Xuyen Cloud the Rainbow, next to the majestic Tyson Rain with many high mountains, a place associated with interesting in legendary story still passed down to this day. I was traveling on a dinghy wearing a conical hat, visiting the poetic natural scenery of lake surrounding the Jasu Kajapa Forest. The water here is very clear and beautiful, make me feel as fresh as spring here. But the surface is full of reflecting water. Hyacinth and on the shore it went bustling. I saw three stop here. <laughs> After resisting Jasu Kanjabar Forest, we continue to get in the bus and depart for Hattin City. We will stop at the River Hotel, Hattin and Yang. Then we have dinner and end the first day of our trip. <laughs> we ate breakfast perfect day at the hotel. This was the best breakfast I found on my Friday trip. I really like the cream puff here. After breakfast, we depart via the street boat station to Phu City. Because the marina was quite crowded, I had to wait to board the boat, so I sat here and wait for a while. By the way, I also took a look at marina line here.
After a while of waiting, we got on the boat and moved to Phu Quoc. I'm very excited because this is the first time I'm going on a boat. The sound of ocean waves combined with the wind sound is so beautiful. After the boat dark, we boarded the bus and traveled to Đảo Ngọc Thơ-ni. I was entering the beekeeping garden, and the two guys told me that if you use too much perfume, you should not stand too close to the beehive because it will make them uncomfortable. He we were able to resist and learn how bee reproduce and how a beehive works, as well as how to harvest honey properly without affecting the bee. These are some corners of souvenir shop at the Ngọc Thơ-ni. After returning to the hotel and resting afternoon, we continue our trip to Grand World for work. I choose to go to the quintessence of Vietnam before entertaining the green world because this place impressed me more. It made me feel a bit of poetry mixed with Vietnamese control. Here I have a deep understanding of the control and tradition of the Vietnamese people, from which I am even more proud of this except country. After visiting the quintessence of Vietnam, I entered Grand World. When I entered, I was surprised that Grand World was made quite similar to the river in Paris. Walking for a while made me feel tired. So I stop at the fountain and wait until 6 p.m. to have dinner at Happy Bond Restaurant. After dinner, there will be a water music performance at 11 o'clock. The combination of sound and color make me feel everything is so vivid and clear. And the water music performance also ended the second day program. After watching, everyone got in the bus and return to the hotel to prepare for tomorrow trip. The third day start the first sightseeing trip to Ngoc Hien Phuc. Here, I learn how to distinguish between real and fake fur, learning about the fur production process as well as the light of powder of Ngoc Hien Phuc. The second destination of the day was Sim Sơn Sim Quai. Here I learned about Sim Quai, why it's called Sim Sơn. Visited the Sim Garden and tried Sim Quai. The last destination of the morning was Phuoc Phisau. Here, I learned how to make a bottle of Phisau, how to brew Phisau in barrel. Propaganda that the longer Phisau is I in wooden barrel, the better it is. And Phuoc Phisau had end my morning journey.
Kudai was a busy day when we had to go to many places. After visiting and having lunch at the hotel, we went to visit Hot Wood Pagoda. We call it quite sunny in the pagoda, so I brought an umbrella. Hotwood Pagoda, also officially known as Chuk Lam Hotwood Yen Monastery, is the largest Buddhist temple in Phuket, as well as the South East region, with a total area of about 110 hectares, famous for its pure landscape and fresh climate. Hotwood Pagoda is not only a place of meditation for monks, nuns, and Buddhists but also a wonderful sightseeing place for local people and tourists. After going to the Pagoda, we quickly moved to the Baesha Beach and start the more fun part today. Team building brings people together through games. Everyone has fun when participating in team building, and neither do I. Um, I hope you won't be like these two guys. Team building makes me feel closer to people and my friends. After finishing playing and having dinner, we got in the bus to back to the hotel and end the trip on day three. The staff of day four were to move to the high speed boat station to Vecchia. The trip took four hours, but when I got on the boat, I slept the whole trip. Luckily, there were no problems. At noon, we had lunch at Dong Xuyen Hotel and continued moving to Gang Tho. In the afternoon, we arrived in Gang Tho and had a gala dinner to summarize the trip. During the gala, we danced and sang, having fun together, making me appreciate the friends around me even more. And the teacher also have a few messages for us. After the gala, I realized that it's still early. So I decided to go to Ningkyu Nai Market, not far from the hotel. Here I saw the bustling scene of the market and the livelihood of Gunther people. Hey, Gunther, what's up? And Ningkyu Market also ended my day for journey. Start the morning by participating in a survey of hotel facility and service, learn about the operating model, service, and interact with hotel representatives.
After that, we depart to visit an upper incense to commemorate the Buhum Temple. Because filming and photography are not allowed when entering Buhum Temple, so we will visit the temple outside. Home Temple is our final destination. It's time to say goodbye to Gunner's Day and return our home. Remember when I told you no matter where I go, I'll never leave your side, you will never be alone. Even when we go through changes, even when we roll, remember that I told you I found my way back home. From the start, you just say the word and I go. No, it doesn't matter how far, cause your love is all that I know. Baby, you just stay where you are, and you know I won't be too long. Hold on, hold on. Remember when I told you no matter where I go, I'll never leave your side, you will never be alone. back home Okay.